Hey gamers, welcome to the games. This is Joe. I'm Kim. And we are from what I'm playing now. We are going to play through a two-player game of Stop Thief. Let's jump over to the table real quick, and we're going to talk a little bit about this game. So here we have the new version of Stop Thief. This is this was released, I believe, last year, 2017, um, by Restoration Games. They had a couple of games come out. Uh, this is a remake of, let me reach over here, the 1979 game that I have here, Stop Thief. Now, my copy definitely is, it's, it is a 30-some-year-old game. It is not in the best of conditions. We're going to be using an app with the new one. The original game actually came with this handheld device that actually made a bunch of different sounds. Um, and for, you know, back in 1979, it was actually kind of pretty cool. Oh, the, I like the characters in that. I didn't even notice. The characters the in the other one were like, yeah, like kind of like little investigators. The board looks um, close to being oh, the yeah. same. Uh, the art is definitely a lot different. Um, it's more updated, I guess you could say, on the new one than the old one. Um, the old one, um, this original one, was roll and move. So you had, um, of course, six-sided dice that you were rolling and moving around the board. The newer one actually is kind of cool because the game comes with six different characters, and each character has a set of six cards, and the cards actually are different for each player. Um, each player is going to have different abilities. They're going to have different movement numbers, and you're going to be playing the cards to do your movement. Some cards will have special abilities on the bottom of them. Um, some won't. As you can see, my 11 movement doesn't have a special ability. Um, the character I'm playing, which is Vivian O, oh, can actually, I think she's one of the, if not the only person, who can actually move through window spaces. Normally, investigators have to um, move around the board through doors. And let's jump over to the board, and I'll go over a quick teach of the game. This will probably be about um, uh, about a minute teach because there really <laughs> isn't. It's 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 a very light family style game that'll be very easy to pick up on. You do have to have an app on your phone, which I'll load up here in a second, which we'll start the game at. Um, but when you play the game, the first thing you're going to do is. Uh, the screen on your app will show you a couple of different buttons. You'll get press get a clue. Get a clue will actually give you what the thief is actually doing. You, everybody's playing investigators, and you're trying to, by process of elimination and deduction, figure out the thief will always start on one of the red spots, which is a crime. They will always commit a crime, and from there, they can move through a door, which will make a door sound. They can break glass, move through glass. They will be moving on all of the numbered spaces, and they can only move one space at a time. We have to move on every circle space, including the number spaces, and you have to follow the footprints. Now, the footprints are showing going in one direction all over the board. You can move in any direction you want, but you do have to follow the path of the footprints to move around. Um, so you're going to press that Get Clue button on the phone. That's going to give you a clue. You're going to try to figure out where the thief is, move close to them. You can either be adjacent to them, or on the space that you believe the thief is, and then attempt an arrest. You can do this on um, pretty much the end of your turn. I guess you could do it at the beginning, um, but I believe you do still have to play a card um, from what we were reading in the rules. You always have to play a card. So even if you're not gonna move and you're gonna stay put, you still need to play a card. And um, when you attempt the arrest, if you're correct, it'll let you know. If you're wrong, you're gonna have to put $1,000 into the bank. When you play a two-player game, first player to $45,000 is gonna be the winner. Each player does start off with $3,000 for those incorrect guesses. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to say hi to chat over here on the tablet. And actually see if I can maybe pull up some of the audio real quick to take a listen to it. While he's doing that, I am playing Pepper Gonzalez. And her special ability is the six movement card. Before moving... I get to take $1,000 from Joe, another investigator. And I have two of those cards. All right, that looks good. We're going to stick with that. I'm just trying to make sure I'm chatting with chat. We've had a day of everything going wrong today. So yeah. this is par for the course with Pretty much. us today. Is it not working? It seems like it's 
um, not letting you back into the chat room. So, oh, there we go. Oh, actually, Eric's on. Oh, that's and hilarious. he just says, I've got $5 on Joe to lose. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. <laughs> let us know. Let us know sound? how the audio sound is because I'm having trouble actually um, getting back to listen on the tablet for some reason. And the keyboard's not charged on the tablet, so I'm having to type on the screen. So, anything that could go wrong has gone wrong today. I bought a mixer earlier to try to do that for um, chat, um, for actually recording, and the mixer wasn't able to get set up. So, let's just get the app loaded up. Let's start playing the game. This is a fun game. So, hopefully, I got this turned up. Um, Eric says everything's working fine. Thank you, Eric. Perfect. Appreciate it. Um, hopefully... I'll try to hold this up here close to my mic, and hopefully I have my phone cranked. I was going to bring up my Bluetooth speaker, but um, I think this will be good for right now. We don't want to overpower us. So we're just going to play a normal, regular game of Stop Thief. I don't think we're going to we're going to use any of the fancy rules or anything. You want to mm -hmm. just do regular? Just do normal. So we're going to play Stop Thief. Um, we're going to just do standard. You win by earning enough money to retire. So I'm going to turn that down so it's not overpowering me until we get into the game. You earn enough money to retire. The thief will always go through doors and windows. The thief will never ride the subway. The thief will never stay in the same place. So that is a standard game. You can also set this retro where all the retro sounds from the old device that I showed you would actually be playing. Um, but the newer sounds actually do sound kind of cool. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Let's get this started and see how this goes. The first player is the one with the earliest birthday. Me. That is going to be you. <laughs> so Kimmy's going to go ahead. We're going to hit continue. And we have a crime has been committed in Swinnerton's department store. Swinnerton's is the building right over here. We have to reveal the next thief card. Our thief is Selena Kane, well at large. Every time Selena moves onto a window space, add $2,000 reward to this card. So we will have to remember to do that because there are some times we actually forget to add some of this extra money when we're <laughs> playing the game. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit continue. So she's worth 6000 Every window is going to be an additional two. We're going to hit continue. Kim's going to hit her get a clue, and we're going to hear a sound. So she just broke a window. She moved on to a window space. 2000 goes on to her. Well, that was quick and easy. We couldn't forget that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put that 2000 right underneath her. So she committed a crime and broke a window. So, like I said before, the thief is going to start off on one of the red spots, so she has now broken a window. Normally, there is probably going to be a couple of spaces after that first movement that the thief is. In this one in particular, I'm seeing possibly two that the thief could possibly be in right now. So, we're not going to give away any other hints or tips other than that. We're going to talk about the game, but I'm not really going to say much more. Um, so Kim's actually going to start moving and try to figure out, uh, move to where she thinks the thief is. Okay, I'm going to start by playing my 11 card, which lets me move You're 11 green. spaces. You're green. Yes, I am green. You are correct. <laughs> so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And you don't have to do the full. Right. You don't have to do the full movement. You can always move less than um, the number shows on the card. I'm actually going to stop there, and I'm going to try and make an arrest. All right. Because I have a feeling if the crime would have happened here, that window could have crashed. They could have broke through that window. Yep. So you're going to hit make an arrest. Then you type in the number 235. 235. Hit confirm. And it will let you know. Wow. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's how this game is going to go. So Kim's going to get 6000 plus the two for 8000 um, She's also going to get Selena Kyle. We usually just give that. Um, so what's showing on the screen right now is you can actually hit watch a replay, and it'll actually replay everything. But considering the thief committed a crime and broke a window and Kim caught her, <laughs> that was kind of kind of anticlimactic. I don't think we've ever done that on the first move. I just tried it and thought I'd give it a shot. So that was... <laughs> and it with works. the way the day's been going, that's completely crazy. <laughs> um, so did Catching the Thief earn you enough money to win the game? No. So now we have a crime being committed over at Doyle's Electronic. Doyle's is right yep. over here. So I'm going to head over there. We're going to flip over a thief, though. We have Aaron Wolf now on the board somewhere in this building. His one captured, he has a reward of $6,000.
plus 1,000 for each card left in your hand. So if you can actually play your card that lets you pick all of your cards Jeez. back up before you get him, you can basically get an extra almost 6,000 bucks, but you got to play a card. So it'd be five, I'd say 5,000 is probably about the most you can get. I would have had, yeah. Yeah. So that would be a very good one to get. Um, we're going to hit continue. And this is a memory style game. So there could be five, six clues that are going to come off before you can really figure out where the thief is, especially if they start moving. Since we're playing the standard game, if you play the retro game, the thief can actually run away if you can't when you go to capture him. So if you are in the correct spot and you guess correct, there's a random chance that the thief can actually run away, which is in the original game. I think with us playing the standard, that's disabled. I don't think it happens in the standard, but yesterday right. it happened to me like three times in a row. Yeah, in the one which, mode which was we were crazy. Playing in. Which was complete. Yeah, he j it just kept running away. Both of us thought we had him at three different spots, and he just kept running away, and we were just laughing. And sometimes they'll stay put. They yeah. won't move at all. They'll just stay right in the same position. So I'm going to go ahead and get a clue because that's the first thing you do on your turn. So he committed a crime and opened a door. So I need to get over into Doyle's and try to figure out what we can do. I'm going to do seven movement. With the seven movement, I can move through a window, but I don't think I'm going to need to. I start off on 500. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five. I'm actually going to make a guess. Let's see if I can get as lucky as Kim <laughs> got um, and make an arrest here. I'm going to try 124. Nope. So I get the sad, I get the sad trombone, and I get to pay a thousand to the bank. And I'm going to hit continue. And I will hand the device over to Kim, and she will hit get a clue and then play her card and try to get over to the building. So he opened a door, and then he took some steps. So he's actually on one of these black spaces, because that would be he's actually taking a step. When he goes outside of a building, you'll hear some outside noise and kind of um, hear a little bit of street noise kind of going on, some background noise, and it's really easy to tell that. There's also these subway spaces, which is where we started off on the center of the board, and there's a subway in each corner. You can use these to basically travel to any of the other corners of the board. When you do that, um, even if you have movement left over, you do have to stop on the subway that you're going to, that you get to, um, unless if you have a special ability that lets you keep moving. Okay. So this turn, I'm going to use another um, card that gives me a lot of steps because now I have to travel from Swimmerton's yeah. over to Dr. Doyle. So that's going to be a lot. Um, yeah, you need to call an Uber. 10 movements. Yeah, I need an Uber. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that just really screwed me with a lot of time yeah. doing that. All right. Back to you. All right. So back to me. So I'm going to press get a clue. So he's taking another step. So he's committed a crime, opened a door in two steps. I'm going to go ahead and move eight. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to try to make another rest on 127 here. I know I'm going to burn through my money by doing this, but if I can get... Got him. But if I can get lucky, <laughs> I can collect my reward and make some cash. Yep. Um, I nice. have four cards left in my hand. Um, so six and four is going to be 10,000. So that actually paid off. Um, usually we don't get this lucky. No. Usually never. we're usually we're about six or seven clues in, and we're having to replay all the clues. And we'll show you that once we get to one that's a little bit longer, because um, sometimes our memories aren't what they used to be, and <laughs> and we have to go through and kind Alcohol's of like alcohol's done some damage now, over what, the years <laughs> on mine. <laughs> now where was he at, and where did he start off? And you're trying to just figure it out. So well, with this one, it was pretty simple. He. Committed a crime, I'm, opened a door, door and two steps. took a step. I thought he was here, so he must right. have opened the door, went here, and he could then have been here. here. Oh, he that's could true, have been too. Here, yeah. Door, mm -hmm. and then that's what I was kind of guessing. Yeah, that was a good so, guess, because I was going to guess here. But he, like Kim said, there were kind of two spaces he could have been. He could have been at 126, 127. If this, would have, if this was his starting spot, he would have ended up there. So it's, I got lucky is all I'm going to say. I don't have enough to end the game. We're going to hit no. Swinnerton's. So Great. Kim's going to turn around and have to run back, right to, uh, back in. Joe's cheating already. Eric, I am not <laughs> cheating. That is bull. 
Um, <laughs> so we have another one at Swinnerton's. I'm going to go I ahead and move this, this over here. Usually. Um, we get to flip out another thief. Our next thief is Miranda Carlsbad. Players must pay 2000 to get a private tip. Now, I don't know if we've mentioned private tips, but some of the cards um, that you can have before or after your movement can give you a private tip. There's going to be a button on here that says get a private tip. Um, when you press that, you want to hold the phone or app or whatever you're using up to close to you and not show it to anybody else because it actually shows you the exact spot and gives you the number where the thief is. So it is kind of a tip into letting you figure out where they're at. Um, so we're going to click continue. You're going to press your get a clue, and I'm going to need to get my ass back over to Swinnerton's. We have a broken window. All right, so... You don't get a lot of movement cards, like with high values, like the 11 and 10s, yeah, which I've already get used. You get a couple. So the next highest one I have is six, which is the one with my special ability, which lets me take a thousand from Joe before I move. And here we go. She's already digging <laughs> into my pockets. <laughs> All right. So then I'm going to move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to stop there. All right. All right, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to get a clue. Oh. And the thief is on. So that's the sound of 6th Street. Oh. So the thief cracked the window and has moved out to 6th Street. So he can be anywhere along here or along here. Or down over oh, here. Oh, that's 6th too. So hmm. this is 6th all along these outside. So we know he's broken a window. He's committed a crime, broken a window, and he's on 6th Street. So I need to... And actually, oh, there is a window over there. I didn't see one. Yeah. Oh, boy. So I need to move 11 because I need to kind of move very quickly here. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And that's all I can move. Isn't much else I can do. Kim's going to get a clue. All right, so he's out on six, so. He's still on six Street. Again. So now he's in one of a couple of spots. All right, so I'm actually <laughs> going to play this card. Yeah. Um, which is going to tell me exactly where he's at. So she's going to lift this up and hide this from me so I can't see it. So I'm going to hit get a private tip. And then it's going to ask, to verify, do you want one? And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm trying. Okay. And then they tell so me So exactly. she actually knows right where he's at. All right. So now she actually gets her movement. So sometimes with the private tips, it'll be before movement, sometimes after movement. It all depends. I think she had a character the other day she was playing where I think she had one card that was before movement as well as a card that gave her a tip after movement. So she was able to move three. And is that it? Yes. That's all okay. I can do. All right. Well, that kind of helps me out some, it I think. It certainly helps you out. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to move. He's in Dr. Doyle's. Oh. That's easy. All right. Oh, so I'm going to play three. Short. Before moving, get a private tip. I'm going to get a private. I mean, since I have a slow move, you know, small movement, I might as well just move the card. Might as well just verify where I think he is. That was kind of what I thought. Um, so I'm going to move my three. One, two, three. I'm going to move onto the space. 131. Make an arrest. 131. And I should get him here because that's what the game told me. So even though he's going to try to run, we're going to tackle him. Nice. And he's captured. Good job. So I'm going to get my reward for that. Um, oh, we were supposed to pay 2000 for private tips. So both of us... Oh, actually should right. have paid um, 2000 I forgot about that. So I'm going to take three and change because I only you had taken some money from me. So I get 10000 for her. Here we so go. I'm up to about 19000 or so. Um, that was not enough to win. So the next one is at Trust U.S. Bank. Right over here. So Trust U.S. Bank is going to be over in this building. I'm going to slide Kim the phone. And All she's right. going to hit continue. And get her clue. All right. Committed, so a, committed crime a crime and moved. moved. He's walking somewhere. So I'm going to play my six movement card, which gives me a thousand from Joe before I move. Her. Thank you. 
I'm not going to say you're welcome, but. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. So and one thing I might not have mentioned during movement, everybody has a low card. And the low card actually lets you pick up all the other cards that you're playing. So you do have to pick your cards back up. So that's how you get your cards back into your hand. All right, your turn. My turn? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look, slide this over here. Committed a crime, so walked, committed a crime walked and opened a door. So I want to move 10 so I can get inside this building. And you can move through another investigator. You cannot land on this. You cannot end up on the same space as another investigator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was the crime. Walk in the door. Crime walk door. So that's how you can go back and replay stuff because I was trying to remember what the thing is because now I'm thinking of the past three rounds. Do you have left two? Yeah, I got two movement left. I'm trying to think of where I want to end up. I'm going to end up right there. And it is your turn. All right. Um, so we had Crime Walk Door. Yeah. And you're going to have another one. So I have a feeling this one's going to be a little longer for us to catch, only because we're down to our cards that only allow us to move two, I think. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to be picking up our cards. So I don't know if Kim's going to be even, be even able to get into the building this turn. <laughs> Okay. okay. Broke a window. That should help out a lot. Yep. Okay. Well, there's no sense in even right now. I yeah. just got to play my two movements. Can't get in there. I'm going to go one, two. My guess is he's probably going to be out on the street now, hopefully. And I get to pick up the rest of my cards and put them back into my yep. hand. And then it's your turn. Someone else join or is someone talking? Uh, it's still Eric. Okay. That was just Eric. All right, your turn. Um, broken window, so where is he going to be? Oh, he committed another crime. He committed another crime. Where the Sam hell is that at? Oh, because he, could he just step on the window space and not go outside? I guess. Because there's no internal windows. Okay, crime... Walk. Door. Window. Crime walk door window. Crime. I am completely Crime stumped. walk. Door. Wait. Good lord. I'm I'm really stumped on this one too. Yeah, I have no idea how he did it. Oh, here's a, oh, here's a couple of them. Crime. Walk, door, window. Boy. Walk, door, window. I don't see where this one's at. Crime, walk, door. Crime, walk, door. There's the, none, none of these are next to you. This does not. Wow, I am. I, okay. The game got us on this one because I'm completely stumped. So I'm just going to move two right here, pick up my cards, and um, next time I'm going to be getting a damn tip because I don't even know where he's at. <laughs> I am completely lost. Did you so, move? Yeah, I okay. moved two. Okay. I was on the door and I moved onto the crime, so get your clue. I don't have So a... he committed a crime, so let's see where he goes now. He broke another window. Oh, my gosh. Huh. I can't wait to... So at the end of this one... Is he still in the same building? Yeah, Eric, he's still yeah. in the same building. He didn't leave. He never hit the street. Um, but at the end, what we're going to show is the actual, a little map on the screen that shows you everything in their their whole movement path. So, because both, I've never been so stumped before. And we've played this game multiple times in the past couple of days. <laughs> and this one makes absolutely no sense. Mm -mm. I almost feel like we're in the wrong damn building. That's how I feel too, but it's not. Because I don't see anything that matches up with that. Yeah. Okay, so 
I, I'm stumped. I'm going to get a tip. Yeah. No. I'm going to see where he's at because yep. I don't have a... Go for it. I'm going to use this. Um, before I move, I get a tip. Okay, I'm not going to look at our eyes because we notice when we look at each other's eyes, it kind of gives it away. Are we in the wrong building? We're in the wrong building. Are you serious? What building is he in? He's in the museum. But it said, it didn't say museum. No, it said bank. It said bank. You saw that, right? Uh-huh. But when he broke the one window, did he go, or open the door, did he go over and we didn't notice that? Did it say on here that he possibly went to, you know how sometimes it goes into a different room or a different building? I he should have he... had to step out in the street. Oh, that's true too. I don't think there's a way he can go from a from building to building. Oh, did you well, see Well, I just saw where he's at now, so that's, <laughs> so that's, thank you. Oh, oh, gosh. Well, that stinks. So, but you're kind of close to there, so you should be able to get to it. Yeah. Um, I have a movement of three. And I'm not going to be able to. Oh, you're not? One, two, three. Wow. But wait, what did he just do? Oh, did I hit a... Oh, he broke a window. Right. Did you see where he's at? Yeah, I thought it was a different number than... Look at, look at, look at where he's at again. Do your tip again. <laughs> And you got to pay 2000 for a tip. Oh, you got to pay 2000 on this one for a tip? Oh, no. We know what? I don't know if we ever flipped a new one over. Oh, I did. I, ooh, I read that backwards. Okay. So. Each investor gets 1000 from the bank unless it would cause them to win. When you get the 10000 Do you not see where it's at? I'm trying to see where that number is at. Do you want me to help you? No, how am I missing it? What is wrong with my eyes? Oh. <laughs> She's right next to it. That's awesome. You have to pay attention sometimes because he does change buildings and you don't notice. The screen tells you he moved to a new building. I don't I don't remember seeing that. I don't know. That's good to know, Eric. So that's actually, the first time that's ever happened. I'm not going to go there because I right. thought it was said 324 yeah. and it was actually 342. Right. So, so I'm going to go yeah, here the same and, thing and get just it. arrest him. And let's so get I, the, okay, yeah. we'll just move out of this <laughs> mass confusion. And then I want to... Do a thing through it and see what it says. Yeah, I want to see how he did it too because I don't remember the screen saying he moved. That's the first time we've actually seen that. Yay. So Kim got him. So I get a thousand. <laughs> wow, I would be an awful investigator. Kim gets ten. <laughs> so what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn turn this around and we're gonna hit watch replay. So we're gonna pl hit play. So that was the crime. So he's at four seventy three. There. 471 door. See, now, I would have thought he had to go to 870. Oh, he was... He jumped right over to that oh, window. Oh, yeah. There is a path there. Okay. We must admit, we'll have to watch out for that. Yeah. I've never... I've never seen that happen before, and I didn't know that he can jump across that way. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, we just learned something. Yeah. Wow. So, no, neither of us... Ooh, I don't think that either, was... I don't think either of us won. So here you get Danny Atlantic. Um, let's flip over a new thief. Um, Jacob D. Justice Esquire. Anyone arguing about the rules must put a thousand dollars onto this card, um, mm. and he's worth nine thousand. So no, nobody won. We are back in Trust U.S. Bank. <laughs> well, you're there. That's yes. good. I figured he was there before you guys realized he moved buildings. That's why I asked about it. Thank you. Mm, thanks, Eric. <laughs> I've never seen him move across like that have a path to be able to move out a door and go right to the other and go right to the other building um without hitting the street i thought they had like to hit the street first yeah Swimmerton. so but i guess there is a path for him from 471 and 351 i did now we know i would have never i would have never guessed that we'll have to mm -hmm. watch for that um specifically on the app he said it eric said it happened to them a few times before mm -hmm. all right so we are in trust us bank this time we reveal the next thief um, I'm going to get my clue. He's taking some steps. So he could be in a couple of different spots right now. So I'm going to go ahead and since it's the beginning of the round and I have um, all of my cards because I really don't, I don't even think I went last turn. Hopefully I didn't pick up any cards I wasn't supposed to. I'm going to get a private tip right now. Oh. Okie dokie. And I'm going to go one, two, three. And it's your turn. All right. I'm going to get a clue. 
So he committed a crime and walked. Yep. And he walked again. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to use my 10 movement. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I kind of feel like he's there. I feel like he committed a crime, walked and walked. Or he could be here. Let me try this one. Well, 42. Make an arrest. <gasps> I got him! Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Book him, Dano. <laughs> wow. All right. You get 9,000. Nobody argued Sweet. about the rules. Do you have a... Give me a single back and I'll give you two fives. <laughs> this is a very close game. Yeah, this I is never do this one of, This is probably one of the closest games. Eric's like charm this game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so no, nobody won. <laughs> Swinnertons, we are back in Swinnertons, oh. back over here. Our new thief is Dom Diesel. Well, at large, and add an extra 1,000 to this card for every crime spree he commits. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna hit continue here and I'm gonna get my clue. So he committed a crime, opened a door. I'm gonna use my 11 movement. And try to see how fast I can get over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're up. Okay. All right. He opened the door, right? Committed a crime, opened the door. Yep. And what? Took it some steps. Well, doesn't really matter. Right now, I'm just going to play my eleven movement. So on the bottom, it says Swimmertons. Yeah. So maybe we need to watch for that because I bet you, I don't it know if we've ever, it switched over yeah. and we didn't notice that. Possibly. So that's a good to know because I don't think we've ever really paid attention to that building verbiage on the bottom. Because that's the first that's happened. This is a hike getting back over there. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, ten, I eleven. Didn't. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, right. that didn't take you long. That's right. I didn't take you long at all. All right. So crime door footstep footstep. Crime door footstep footstep. Mm -hmm. hmm. So paying attention to the foot pass is very, very important, which I don't think I ever realized how important it actually is. What was it? Crime door footstep footstep? Yeah. All right, I'm going to use my 10 movement. Mm -mm -mm. And go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to use 6. I'm just going to kick the door. You get 1,000. All right, you guys, he's heading out. Hey, thanks, Eric. Thanks Have for a good watching. one. We'll catch you later. He says, kick my ass. There goes my good luck charm. <laughs> All right, six. Jeez. So he just opened a door? Yeah, can we replay him? Yeah. Is there a way to replay all of them? You got to go back one by one. So you know the first one, the yeah. first foot one's a clue, or a, a, is a crime. Crime. Door. door. What's that? And it should be, what's that? You gotta wait for the graphic yeah. to go away. So yeah, two footsteps. Crime door, footstep, footstep. Door. Crime door, footstep, footstep, door. Hmm. I'm kind of lost on this one again, too. All right, so it's my turn? Yep. And I'm gonna hit my clue. Museum of Modern yep. Antiquity. That's why. So there we go. That's the, that's the, they were doing that no. changing buildings the other day. Um, so I need to move, um, well, I'm going to move my seven. During movement, I can move their window spaces, but I'm going to move one, two, 
3, and I'm going to make an arrest right there on um, 3.14. And I think I should have him. <gasps> Got wow. him. Nice job. What do we got? 5, 10, 15, 20. I got about 25. I'm at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, so yeah, we're for, to 8, 9, 30, 31. We played at 45. 45, yep. So we're pretty close, actually. This has been the closest game, so we're going to hit no. We got a crime in Doyle's right over here. So let's move that over there, and I'm going to flip this over. Eugene Ryder, when captured, reward is 11,000. If you haven't caught a thief yet, Otherwise, reward is 8,000. He's going to be 8,000 because both of us have already caught some stuff. All right. So we're going to hit continue and get a clue. So he is in Doyle's. Crime door. Well, I'm going to have to use my movement of six so I can try and make my way over there. And I get 1,000 from Joe before moving. That's already gotten you three or 4,000 right there. That's, That's almost a good card. A, I like yeah. That. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. Yep. Prime door. Another door. Another door. Still in Doyle's turn. That's a Doyle's. All right. My biggest movement's an eight. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. That was a crime door door. Yep. Hmm. Huh. Which still is multiple places right now. Mm-hmm. So don't forget to get your clue. And he committed another crime. Hmm. Oh, okay. Boy, I think I know where it's at, but I'm down to my last card, which yeah. only lets me move two. But I can pick up all the rest of my cards after I do that. So let's go one, two. All right, and I am going to get my clue. So he committed a crime and then took a step. I'm down to two as well, so I can go one, two. And that's about all I can do and pick up my cards. <laughs> so Kim has a chance here after she gets her clue. So he's taking two steps. Okay. Um, I'm going to play three. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's probably it's not a bad idea. One or two spots. Yeah. And I'm going to get a private tip. Oh, and that's exactly where I thought. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move one, two. And make an arrest. 152. And I got him. Nice. So it's 8,000. Mm -hmm. And how much are you up to now? You were at 30 what? 7? 31? Let me recount. Yeah, do a recount. You may have um, just one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 5. Oh, this one's? Huh? You forgot oh, that one too. 5, 30. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. 40. Nope, you're five short. So, so Kim's very in... close to winning. Yep. Where's the next one? Museum of Modern Antiquity. So yes. let's so Andrew Eugene. Back over I'm here. I'm going to flip over Thomas Tiara. <laughs> He's got a tiara. Oh, my goodness. All right. Other, all other investigators pick up their played movement cards from the table when captured. So you get whoever wins, um, the other person gets to pick up their ones. But if you win this one, um, you may win the game. So I need to get my butt over there and figure out and try to capture him. And he's over at the museum, right? Yep. So he took a couple steps. Again, several places he can be. Right. So I'm going to use my 10 movement. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm on a door. I'm going to play my 11 movement. I'm probably not even going to get in the building this time. One, two. Three, four. Oh, I can't go out that way. What am I doing? Oh, nope. You can't go through that. I was here. 
Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where's the door? At? There's a door there, and I'm on the door. Eleven. Yep. All right. All right. Yep. My turn. Yes. Oh, did I get a, get a clue? I don't know if you had get a clue. Hang I think on. I was just worried about getting over there. <laughs> nope, you did not. Because okay. Because that was the crime, and then I hit it. So you got to get your clue. So he walked, and then opened the door. Yep. So now. And walked so again. He walked, opened the door, and then walked. Committed crime. Walked. Open door. Walked. Okay. Walked. Open door. Hmm. Um, I'm going to use my three to, before moving, get a private tip. I have an idea where he's I at. I think you're close. I, I may be. The way I'm looking at it, I might be wrong. And that is kind of where I thought he was. So, I can move three. One, two, three. I am one spot away. Yep, there is a path there. I'm going to make an arrest of 333. That's where I thought he was. I'm much better at this today than I was yesterday. Yeah. And I am at 10,000. So, you get to pick up all your cards. 5, 10, 20, 30. I'm at 34. Mm -hmm. So, you're winning. You win one more. Um, well, that was my plan here, and the museum was to win this one. <laughs> you're going to win that. So, that's going to go over there. Um, we're going to know. Game's not over yet. Doyle's. We are back, back over, over at Doyle's. We have Jeez. Elliot. Elliot Mac McCavity. Um, take the when captured, take the first turn after the next thief strikes. Um, so basically if you win, you don't hand the device back over, you get to go again. Mm, so that's, that's an interesting nice. one. So we're gonna continue. I think this one's gonna let either one of us well, where are you at? 31? Um, 35. So it's not gonna let me win. Oh. I'm at 34. 10, 20, 30. Yeah. 20 because you've taken like four or five thousand from me yeah so that's why you're that's why i'm kind of down <gasps> so or else it probably would be the last one we are in miss dr we are dr doyle's, doyle's yep okay. committed a crime open the door so i'm going to use my 11 card for 11 spaces to try and make my way back over there one two three four five six I need a crime and open the door. That could be anywhere. Yes. Pretty much. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's just stop there. All right. So I'm going to get a clue. He is on Fifth Street. Oh, oh, oh I just so came in there. So he is somewhere along the outside here. He committed a crime. Open a door. Open a door. And then he's on 5th Street. So I'm going to play my 11. Mm. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Mm. So. Which spot? <laughs> how lucky am I feeling? I'm going to make an arrest. I just. I'm going to go 501. Passed right over him. You got him. Get out. You won. Did you no. Oh, no. Yeah. no. Got lucky with that one. You get to go again, too. That one was total lucky. So, um. Nice. 10, 20, 35. There's six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. 39, 40, 41. <laughs> Whoever wins this one's going to win it. Yep. Um, and I get to go again. So, no, that did not do that. Swinnerton's. Mm. Okay, so, we are back over at Swinnerton. Oh, I get to go. I get to go. So, we're going to leave that right him. there. Dolores Ake. Well, at large, investigators can't move more than nine spaces. They still can play cards higher than nine. And she's worth 9,000. So, this one's going to win it for somebody. Good luck. Good luck. And my biggest movement is an eight. Um, so I'm going to get my clue first. Committed a crime to open a door. 
So I'm going to move eight and I can move through on, move onto or through window spaces. So I'm going to try to use this this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and hop into the building through that window. Nice. It's going to take me two turns to even get over there. Hmm. Sixth Street. Sixth Street. So somewhere along here, so, committed a crime, opened a door. And now on six. Now on Sixth Street. Oh boy. Jeez. Eats. So I'm going to play my 10 step card. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to find the closest door for you. There really isn't one. Come You're here. kind of like in the middle of that building. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. You can only move oh, nine only move because nine. it's Dolores. Because of Dolores ache. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. So somewhere on 6th Street, staying on 6th Street. That's not helping me any. Mm. I am actually going to it's get. My turn. Oh, I am. Yeah, that's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh jeez, jeez, jeez. All right. I'm going to move through a window. 1 2 3 4 and I'm going to guess 650. It's for all the marbles. Nope. That was a loss of that. All right. All right. So I get a clue. I guarantee. He's going over to Doyle's. Going over to Doyle's. Nope. Still on six. Six three. Gonna need a tip for this I one. This gonna one's gonna a, be hard. I'm gonna use my. This one's gonna be hard to figure out. I would hold that up. I'm gonna. Yep. So let me see that one. The other detective seeing what it is. <laughs> Okay, I'm not looking at your eyes. I almost saw it, but we're not looking. Not gonna cheat. Gonna get the win fair and square here. Good God. Oh, geez. I don't want to know that. Wow. Oh, sweet. So, can you make an arrest at any time? Uh, yeah. So, I could move through the subway subway come up over there uh yeah and make an arrest uh sure i'll say so i don't see why not 6.99 that says right uh 6.69 oh, that's 6.69 isn't it oh no that's 6.99 sorry okay. i was upside down i'm upside You're down right. too that's why i'm 6.99 like... <laughs> did you just win i could have <sighs> did you I get your did. clue did you press get a clue before you started your turn? I think you did, because we said stay on 6th Street. Yeah, yeah you did. he stayed on 6th yeah. Street, and then I used my tip. Well, there you go, 9,000. And then I used my one movement out of my three. Yeah. 9,000. But I wasn't sure, because I know when, you, when you're when you in the subway, you have to stop. So yeah. I didn't know if I could get it. I would say, yeah, it, does, it doesn't say you can't. It do, doesn't say you can't, um, but that's it. Ooh, Pepper Gonzalez, you really did me well this time. So that is yes, Stop Thief. Yes, that did. So there we go. A little it's bit of winning music, music for Kim. <laughs> um, but that's that Stop Thief. It's a nice little um, deduction game. Family, definitely family friendly. Um, not too hard. Uh, we had trouble with that one because we weren't paying attention. That he moved to a different That he building. moved to another building. But we hadn't actually seen him move to a building without hitting the street first. Mm -mm. So I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know there were paths where they could actually travel from building to building. Um, and in looking at the board, I'm guessing he can go from 151 to 217, yeah, just like as that. as long as he follows the footsteps. So as long as he's on the footsteps, it looks like there are a few paths on the board that allow him to do that. So um, definitely something to pay attention to when you're playing this game, but we like it. It's it's a good re-implementation of the 1979 Nine. game. Um, we were going to try to do a playthrough of the 1979 game. Maybe we'll do that some other time. I will have to make sure that... Does that work? Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, we'll have to make sure that we'll have to run through a game and make sure it, the that the device actually lasts and everything. But I put a nine volt battery in it, and <laughs> it is it was still working, um, even though it is close to almost forty years old. Uh, which is kind of crazy, but it, it, it is. His qu- mom has a collection of all their games growing up, so we could actually change this to what I'm playing in my mom's basement and start a whole other series. <laughs> so, so it, it 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 is a little different with the roll and move. Uh, I do kind of like the movement with the cards. I think that brings it up to a little bit more modern type of game mm-hmm. because I think there is a lot more games that have cards for movement in them nowadays as opposed to. There aren't too many that do a roll and move style of mechanism in them. I definitely like all the different actions that uh, you get through the different characters. And like I said, there's six different characters that come in the box, and they're all different. Some will have varying variable numbers of movement. Um, I think there's one in the box that actually moves up to twelve. Yeah, and there's a, the um, one you had yesterday that you actually take three free movements, or all your movements outside there were, three there were free. There, there, yeah, there were three movements outside free besides moving like an eight or nine, um, which is actually moves you nice quite far if you can mm-hmm. hit the road and then jump back in a building. So I was able to maneuver a little bit faster that way. But from what we've seen from all the times we've played, uh, and I've played this both playtesting it as well as um, now, the characters definitely seem balanced. Uh, we haven't found one that seems overpowered mm-hmm. with their either their movement abilities or their actions. So it seems like they did, um, Restoration Great Games did a great job in um, making sure that all those characters are balanced. I, I, I like the art too, the art on the board from what you saw from the old one. It definitely is upgraded to a more modernistic style of art. Um, and the wooden meeples kind of look cool too. A little bit different from the... From the plastic, I kind of like the old ones. Um, I didn't notice what they look like until yeah, you opened the box. From the plastic, um, the or the, from the plastic, um, investigators, investigators that uh, move around the board. Uh, but it's a really cool game. It's 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 a nice light game. You know, you can knock out a couple of games in an afternoon, and just have a good time with it. So, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for joining. We will be back Wednesday with another stream. Until then, go play some games and let us know what you're playing now. Don't forget to. Subscribe to our Twitch channel if you're watching us here, as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash what I'm playing now. Definitely trying to grow that community and that channel up. And we would definitely appreciate the likes as well as um, some subscriptions. So please go ahead and do that for us and we would appreciate it. Until then, we'll see you later. Have a great day gaming, everybody. Bye-bye.